and back to my old setting again because I couldn't stand to look at that beige wall a minute longer. Tonight we're trying out the Bioma Cleansing Balm. If you know me, I am so specific and picky when it comes to cleansers. So tonight I thought I'd give this one a crack. And of course, if I'm using it, it is definitely cruelty free. Said use a pea amount. Who is I kidding? Yeah, about a scoop amount. Oh God, oh, then she got my lashes. Oh, actually I could have done with pea amount. <laughs> Ooh, she's melt. She's melting. Yeah, I got carried away. I, I definitely used way too much. Oh, I cannot see. That's my own fault. Oh, Jesus, come here. The second it takes off a NYX eyeliner, good. She's not bad. That's not even all of it. <laughs> So two things really tell me whether this is a good one or not. Main things, there's other things as well obviously. One, how well it gets off that NYX eyeliner is a dead fucking giveaway because I can tell you now, none of them can do it. And that took it off in one go. Yep. Second thing is how well this rinses out because there's nothing more fucking frustrating than using the likes of a balm and it doing a good job. When you go to rinse it and you look back at your cloth, it's clogging the cloth. Give me a sec. No way. It's fucking perfect. Ah, I love it. I love it. Ah. Bioma. Oh Jesus. Oh, my skin doesn't feel like, you know the feeling. You know the feeling when there's just something there, even if you can't, there's nothing. I haven't even done my second cleanse yet and I am feeling like a baby. Second cleanse is my uh, Bragging Scare brain for Bragging Skincare cleanse. And I take that one off with a muslin cloth. I can't get over that. I'm sorry, but like, you have no idea. I have been looking years, years for something like that and I have never been able to find it. Never waste your product. Put it on your hand. You gotta slug me up. I'm halfway there. Ah. So random. I don't know if anyone has actually noticed. It's probably just makes them stern at it all the time. But I used to have quite puffy eyes. Just naturally, I, what can I say? It's a face I'm born with. And have you noticed recently they're not that puffy? Well, what I've been doing is that every time I put on something on my face, again, out of pure habit, you go like this, over. Like, you can't help it. But I do my best, come back up and go and push in and up around the brow. But do it so gently that you're not actually like straining your skin. Like it's really gentle and going up. I've been doing that maybe 10 times. Like once all my skincare is done, I got, hold on, I got one more thing. We glow recipe uh, night treatment. So what I do when everything's on, like now, is going in. And from here, I do a bit of pressure because I don't know if anyone has sinus issues. I feel, I feel it here. And I feel it here on the brow bone. Like it's not pain, but you feel it, there's something there. So what I do is super gentle, push it in and go up and then stop on the inner bits because there's a wee lymph nodes in here and then drag it out to these eyebrows. I can feel it but every fucking time. And that's what I've been doing. Just so gentle. And I'll even let go as far as to hold this, and bring it in, do that maybe 10 times on this side and then see on the other side. I've seen people do this dry, like on dry skin. It, it really annoys my skin when I do that. So I just do it as, as like part of my night routine. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I sure have. I can feel an odd pressure now. Something's going on. And it's always here in the brows. I just use my fingers, rub that way. I feel I don't know if it's just me. But that's what I've been doing. All done. Fuck yes. This shit is amazing. Go buy it. 
have a wonderful night. Mwah!